All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, as usual, everybody's connecting right away except Twitch, yet Twitch is the one that works the best and Facebook's going to close down in my face in about 45 minutes if we're lucky. <sighs> How's my tea timer? I always check it like really close to when it's about to end. Oh, Kitty just joined us. Hello, Kitty. Like, you're here right at... Thanks for liking. You're here right as I'm uh, doing the usual pre-stream testing and stuff like that. Hi, Kitty. I would be in a good mood, but we all know what's going on right now. Oh, there's somebody on YouTube. Where's my restream? My restream is not loaded. I mean, my restream chat. And uh, Twitch is still struggling. Come on, Twitch. I just said you're the best one. Ah, Twitch is on. Super. There's a bug, there's a bug. You got two minutes to work with stream chat. There we go. Ah, Tony just joined us. Hello, Tony. We're going live in one minute with the music and everything. And I was about to say, why did my timer not start? And another like. Thank you, Tony. I'm assuming it's you. There's only two people watching right now. You guys are watching absolutely nothing, but there will be something on the screen pretty soon. Just getting my tea ready and stuff like that. Da -da -da. Alright, okay, we can we can start playing music gently so as to not scare the masses. Yeah, thanks, I know my tea is ready. Could use being a little louder. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get yelled at by the Facebook popo again because those are recognizable sound bites.
Oh, there's the chat. I was wondering for a second there. What the hell? Okay, according to Restream, I've received a hundred messages today. Um... <laughs> I just logged on. <laughs> Oh, there's Coco. Hi, Coco. Now we get everybody accounted for. Now, as usual, I'll tell you guys how this works. I'm drawing this week's bootleg cookie. You guys enjoy. That's the whole point. Listen to chiptune music. Um, if you want me to say hi to you, you have to type in the chat. The only reason I know how that some people log on, it's like entirely only on Facebook because I have a Facebook page open. N none of the other pages will tell me who logs on. Now there people are saying hi to each other across platforms. I love that. So if you want me to say hi to you, you have to type in the chat so I can see you. Like through the restream screen, I can see that there are two people on Facebook, one person on YouTube, and they all said hi because they're starting to learn the rules. <laughs> I can tell if people are on Twitch and Picarto, but I can't see their names. And finally, I can't tell if there's even anybody on Periscope. So if you want me to acknowledge your presence, you have to write hi or hello in the chat. Oh, yikes. Of course, cashiers gotta gotta salt it. They're easy targets. I should know. I used to be a cashier, and every time something goes wrong, it's always after them. If anybody needs to know my opinion on the matter, just know that Black Lives Matter, and if you're a um, white supremacist, you can fuck right off. Oh, Julie just joined us. Hello, Julie. Just gonna go open my script real quick. Oh, Pretzel is reloading. And we're back. And, of course, the daily... Uh, am I gonna say it? Apparently not. The daily Pretzel.rocks empowering quote. There we go. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. Yard by yard, it gets hard. This can be taken as advice for both your career and anal sex, so keep that in mind. I don't want to hear any of this bullshit. Yeah, but Sharon, you're white. Excuse me. It's a top coat. I'm one of those uh, bleached down uh, Native Americans. Got watered down and beaten out of me. Quite literally, in some cases. But the event's going on right now. About black people, so if you could, like, you know, respect them and support them and help them, that would be nice. And if you don't want to do that, get the frick off my pages. Hey, watch me. I mean, if people can tell me in public about their, uh... 
their freaking uh, bondage fetishes about actresses, I can say in public that I support uh, black lives. There. Oh, this... I can already tell that this is going to be one of those... Like, two hours live stream just because I have to put in a little bit of background for context. Context. See, I only talked about it a little bit and I'm already so pissed off. Uh, this story happened like, a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure if Julie is saying love you, miss you to me or to Kitty. What with the social distancing and stuff. <laughs> but just in case it's for me, I miss you too, Julie. <laughs> I love you too, of course, obviously. <laughs> It's cookies. <laughs> They're boxes of cookies. What is this uh, beat? Is it Contra? It doesn't friggin' matter what I say on live stream. There's like three people that watches the recording. And I'm assuming they're good people. And YouTube... Facebook mutes my videos anyway. And YouTube only cares if I steal music from people who stole it before me, so... Because money.
Oh, right, it's still on impact. Oink. I thought I said nah. <laughs> some of them invo involve saving Zelda some of them <laughs> the second one <laughs> like literally she's right there <laughs> the entire time <laughs> also does it count as saving her when she's a playable character technically like in the spirit tracks? Like, yeah, technically you have to save her and give her back her body, but... Yeah, sure. Isn't that what they're trying to do with Rune Factory? Kind of, sort of? I don't know, I didn't play any other Rune Factories. Like, if they could remake Gunpla, or Gunplay, I think it's Gunplay, uh, uh, what's the entire name of that? But it's a uh, SNES game what, that was basically a Zelda clone, but with, uh, with a Western, literally Western elements with... Yeah, you can do that in uh, Breath of the Wild. Literally, there's horse racing and you can ride a bear. Well, sadly, not at the same time, but uh, those elements are present in the Breath of the Wild. And as I was saying, if you could remake gunplay and 
Preferably if you could remove all the frickin' racist uh, enemies. <laughs> As it's rather obvious, they can say they're aliens all they want. They're obviously blackface, you know what I mean? Now, if they could change that for actual aliens dressed as cowboys. And then add those elements that you said. And yeah, I would play it. Because there's one thing to save the princess, but sometimes you just need some, you know, some side quests, some activities. Well, yeah, and like, take off the lips. Like, if you- if we could just get, like, the, the normal aliens, because in the game, they, they are said to be aliens. They're supposed to be aliens. And there are some green ones, but at the same time, like, take off the lips, give them, like, all black eyes, you know, classic, uh, classic uh, green stuff. Brendan just joined us. Hello, Brendan. Because you wouldn't have to change a lot. Just that. Because the rest of the game is pretty, pretty fun and funny. Like, I would recommend it if somebody would just, like, go in and patch out the racist depiction aliens for normal aliens. I don't think I'm asking for too much here. Got to change the eraser again. I will never remember to change the eraser. the fun part of working digitally. Because as we all know, people are going to say, wow, you draw so well, I can't even draw a straight line. Well, me neither. <laughs> Maple cookies. doubts that I was Canadian before, you can't get any more Canadian than maple cookies. Well, maybe if they were made with beer.
Yes, they are. I agree. Way too thin. Way too thin. Davis just joined us. Hello, Davis. See, Davis, what I'm doing right now, there? You're never going to have that trouble. Oh, you don't want to meet me in traffic then. Talk about succeeding, Mr. Multiple Award Winner Writer. Yes, you do, and you make sure you remind us every day. Don't you?
See, we're halfway there. Like, it's it's an hour 27. We've been at this for almost half an hour, and all I've got done is this. And to think, this is my fast style. Those were not on my Patreon. Uh, friendly reminder, there is going to be some wallpapers available very soon, in a couple of days, uh, for my $5 and uh, $10 patrons. I posted a preview on my social medias for those who are interested in getting some of my art on their phone or tablets or computers I am absolutely tearing through my mug of tea today. And I just realized I don't remember the last time I saved, so I just did. <laughs> Program one of my tablet buttons to save. The fun thing is, not a lot of people realize I have angry eyebrows because not a lot of people realize I have eyebrows. <laughs> They're there, they're just blonde. <laughs> 
But like back when I had colors in my eyebrows, oh boy, did people notice them? Because when I focus, I look like I want to kill you. Now, of course, that got me in trouble in school, but I never knew until I was like 10 years out of school. Because God forbid people explain to me why I'm in trouble. No, no, no. Just punish me and never tell me anything. I can't think of any better examples than that fourth grade teacher who decided to punish me for not doing my homework while I had my hand on my homework. Uh, my hair is brown, which apparently pisses off people for some reason. I don't know if you remember when I got interviewed by uh, Yaron Beta and Betan Beaton. Yaren. Anyway, his name is Yaren. Uh, like, at the beginning of this month, I think. And all the comments I got was about my hair. Like, I spent half an hour talking about my comics, and my work, and my art, and everybody's like, What's wrong with your hair? It's brown. I was born that way, bitch. What the hell? Not a single comment or question about my art. And I'm sorry, but I do believe my feelings were hurt. <laughs> I better not catch anybody for the Summer Sizzler Con uh, in July, I think, because we're supposed to get the rest, of all of the questions by June. I'll ha I'll have to ask uh, Jeff about that again. Not even for a joke. Don't anybody question my hair color, please? Like, I'm there for comics. Let's talk about my comics. If you're not interested, and you just want to talk about my hair, then... No, you suck, okay? <laughs> because to me, it feels like you're just reducing me to my appearance. When you just talk about my hair. You know? Especially after such an important uh, interview. Like, is, is that all that matters to you? My hair? Yeah, like, uh, uh, who was it? Uh, what's her name? She got interviewed about her diet to play uh, Catwoman in uh, Batman Returns, I think it was. I'm not sure. And she did the smart thing. She asked the interviewer if he wanted to fit into a cat suit because she need, she was concerned. Like, we don't work this hard just to be commented on on our appearance. It hurts. It legit hurts. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah, Davis has a point. Davis, for some reason, people have a lot of trouble remembering how his name is spelled. And the worst part is, the poor guy literally sends it in in writing and they still manage to mess it up, so... That's kinda... that kinda sucks. 
And that's, an that's another thing, Davis, okay? I was talking about Summer Sizzler Con earlier. My name was sent in, in writing for the poster, and for like 20 minutes live, the poster has had my name as a Sharon Guatier. Bonus points for me being the only girl. And all the other names were okay, just mine. Timothy just joined us. Hello, Timothy. We're complaining about names. And they're reminding people that uh, Black Lives Matter. And if they don't matter to you, you can uh, fuck right off, please and thank you. I'm Canadian. We're supposed to be polite! Keep that lie going. Tell my secrets, Coco! Secrets. This is on recorded live stream. <laughs> Technically, I'm polite. I'm saying, fuck off, please. Technically, I'm polite. I'm using language and my chat apparently censors out, so... <laughs> I don't care. the name of that uh, that stand-up comedian that says uh, ladies shouldn't swear and I'm like luckily I'm a babe so that shit doesn't apply to me <laughs> I'm making a minimal effort in bootleg cookie because I know there's going to be kids reading it, but uh, 
you're old enough to watch my live stream, you're old enough to be on whatever social media or streaming media you're on right now, and I have no business being on YouTube, kids. Like, I put all my settings to be really sure I don't end up on YouTube, kids. So I think you can handle a fuck once in a while, okay? I'm not monetized anyway. That's why my coffee and my Patreon is on my uh, streaming screen. Y'all are paying so I can say fuck. Speaking of cursing, why the heck is the volume so up and down uh, on these, this music lately? Because as you notice, there's some parts where I just don't talk, so might as well have some music. Which, despite what Facebook says, I'm allowed to use. <laughs> For those wondering, what I actually did took a little longer, but I thought just banana rang in the ba and the banana would be funnier. <laughs> done. I am pleasantly surprised. Well, I thought it would take longer because I had to put some background elements. And apparently, there we go. Of course, when I eventually make some tutorials, I will keep the language to a minimum. I'm not taking it off, I'm just keeping it to a minimum. When you learn from me, you're gonna learn a little bit of everything.
<laughs> yeah, make it past the first two minutes without cussing and uh, YouTube is like, oh yeah, yeah you, you can do whatever you want now. <laughs> I don't care, I'm not monetized. Gotta love working with vectors. <laughs> ah, frick. Thought my bots were supposed to take care of that. Ah. Hang on, people. I'm just gonna save this real quick and then I gotta go get rid of these two fuckers. Oh my god, why is this taking so slow to load? There we go. There. Sorry about that. I swear, you look down for one second and they just swoop in and try to, uh... Try to scam you. So yeah, other than that... We are done already! We got nine minutes left. Ah! I forgot my little uh, for fuck's six right here. Now we're done. And uh, it looks like uh, Facebook managed to handle it pretty well. Nobody crashed. That's nice. 
If you guys got any questions, comments, we got seven minutes left. My hair is getting long. Well, long for me. Usually I keep it down to a little carpet fuzz around my head and of course the magnificent pump on top. You guys looking forward to the next Paper Mario? Thank you, kitty. Like, I'm kind of looking forward to it. But at the same time, I'm kind of not. Because I'm worried it's going to be more pretty than fun, like Color Splash was. Oh, I got another little love. That's nice. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, probably. Oh yeah, of course, and while I was... Uh while I was live streaming, Team Warwick was talking about uh, bleep bleep sensor bleep spoiler bleep, and I have a novel of comments to read after this. <laughs> I have to read it. I'm part of Team Warwick. <laughs> yeah, with the way I'm busy, I haven't really felt like getting the latest Animal Crossing because it's a lot more involved than the previous ones with, with terraforming and stuff like that and you actually have to be social and invite people over and... Uh, I'm tired just thinking about it. <laughs> I get that Animal Crossing is supposed to be social, but I, I play better by myself, know what I mean? I think the last time I had somebody over was in the beginning of wild world i think no 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 uh, city folk city folk i remember because i got the little talky speaker for it and i used it once Plus, right now they're in like DLC mode, like they put out the game and then they're introducing elements little by little and then you have to rebuild your island around it. I'd be frustrated after a while, I think. Now I'm still obsessively playing Dragon Quest XI. Now it's possible that I'm gonna do a third playthrough because my brother got it. He met Silvendo and after like literally two minutes of gameplay he understood why I love him so much. <laughs> like he, he, he just barely met him and he already understands. Imagine once he, he gets to know him better to put it politely. <laughs> And he's playing with 
the Japanese voiceover and French text, and I haven't done that yet, and oh, oh, I gotta see that. I gotta see what they have and say in French. I already know that instead of darling and honey, he says mon chou. And oh, oh, I gotta see that. I gotta see that. <laughs> Still haven't switched to 2D mode because, well, Sylvando, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, two minutes. I think it's time we can uh, go ahead and switch to the end card. And gently pause the music. And of course, special thanks to my patrons, Nancy, Marianne, J, Paul, K. Your support is always, 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 always appreciated. It's thanks to you guys that I got tea and art supplies. Of course, support is always appreciated, but it's important that I give these three people special thanks. Because their support means a lot to me. And if you want to mean a lot to me, too, well, I have a Patreon and I have a coffee. <laughs> you can't miss it. It was right there at the bottom of the screen during the entire live stream. <laughs> uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, starting June 1st, I believe... It's either June or July, but I think it's June. Patreon is going to charge sale sales tax because of new laws that were signed about digital goods stuff like that now, i'm pretty sure i fixed up everything in my patreon so that people are aware but i might have to write down and note they're going to email pay and patrons anyway but i need to write down a note or something if i think about it because you guys know i'm like ridiculously busy lately i hope i remember <laughs> But anyway, it is now 2 p.m. I finished a comic and I have to spend another hour converting it, saving it, and uploading it to different platforms. Once again, special thanks to my patrons, Nancy, Marianne, J. Paul K. for your support. And I'll see you guys next Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. I love you all. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw. I know I had fun drawing this, as usual. And I'll see you guys next time.